minus three. Perfect, okay. Again, I'm going to use some parentheses saying that's a negative number in there. Equals, I'm supposed to have my m. What's my m? One. Uh-huh. And x minus negative three. Perfect. Let's clean this up just a little bit. We're going to have y plus 3 equals 1 half x plus 2. If it's asking for point slope, you know what? You're done. Okay, that, that, that's it. But this isn't exactly the easiest way to graph a line, is it? Like that. Is there a way we could make it easier? Yeah. What would you do? Distribute. Sure, we want to get rid of those parentheses. We'll distribute that. If we distribute the right side, I'm still going to have this y plus 3, but I'm going to get 1 half x plus what? 1. Good. 1 half times 2, that's going to give us 1. And lastly, last step is what? Right. Yeah, if I do that, I'm going to get y equals 1 half x. That's something we're real familiar with. We know how to graph that pretty well on the x, y axis. What is that called, by the way? Yeah, whenever we have y equals mx plus b, where we have some number times x plus or minus some constant, we know that that's going to be called, well, that is slope intercept. And it's pretty easy to graph. It gives you what you need to graph a line very quickly. And again, the reason why it's called slope intercept is that's what you have. That m, well, well that's our slope. What's the b stand for? Y yeah, good, y intercept. Can you graph it? What we just graphed. How would you graph something with 1 half x minus 2? Can you tell me what is my y intercept? in this case. So when we're graphing slope intercept that says if we have a negative 2 that means we're going down or left. Which, which, what's, what's that mean? Down. So we know our y says down 2 and it says we're going to put a point right there. That's where our minus 2 is coming from. Next we use our slope from the point that we just graphed, not the origin, but the point that we just plotted to find our next point. Our slope is, what was it? Is that up or down? Up, up how many? And over to the over to the right, how many? Two. Yeah, the positive or negative tells you whether you're going up or down. You always go to the right. So if we had negative one half, that would say go down one, but you're still going to the right. You're always going to the right. The plus, plus negative tells you up or down. You with me on this so far? Okay, good. So we're going to go up one. You all said to the right two. Now that we have two points, we know that two points delineates a specific line, unique line. We graph it, we make sure we label this, and we're done. Show of hands, how many people feel okay with graphing these lines using slope formula and the point slope? Good deal, all right. Now, there's a couple more things we've got to talk about about lines before we talk about parallel and perpendicular, which we're going to do in just a second. If I told you that this was a line, y equals to some, some number, c, where c is a constant. What type of line is that? Well, it's just, they're all straight lines, right? They're all straight lines. That's a straight line. What I think you, you might mean is, is this a vertical line, or is that a horizontal line? Horizontal line. You know the way you can tell? What variable do you have up there? That means it's going to cross the y-axis. Whatever variable you have says that's the intercept that you have. So there's no way to have this line crossing the y-axis. Does that make sense to you? There's no way to do that. The only way you can do that and have a, a constant line is like this. That's a horizontal. So if you have a y equals, that's saying you're going to have a y-intercept at that number, and it's going to be horizontal. So when y equals a constant, you're talking about a horizontal line. What's the way I can make a vertical line, just straight up? Yep. If x equals a constant, we have an x-intercept.
That's a vertical line. Another way you can think about that, if you have y equals, if you try to fit it into this formula, the slope intercept, the point slope, you've got a slope of zero, right? There, there's no slope there. Slope of zero is going to give you a horizontal line. If you don't have a y, though, that means you're going to have an undefined slope. That means you're going to be a vertical. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Let's manipulate one equation. We'll see if we can put it into a uh, slope-intercept form. We'll talk about some parallel perpendicular lines, and then we'll go on to some trigonometry. I can tell you're excited. You excited? Yeah. Some of you are giving me death books right now. You know that? <laughs> right here we have an equation that's kind of a standard form of a line. It'd be standard form if we added the 3 to 1 side. And then we'd have we'd have the standard form. Is there a way you can put this into slope intercept? Yeah. Go ahead and try that for me. Just go ahead and solve for y and make that slope intercept. We want to make sure you can do it. First, if you're trying to solve that thing for y, isolate. yeah, if you're trying to isolate it. What's your first step in doing that here? You could add three, then you could subtract four x, and then you could divide by two. Another way to do it, you could subtract two y, right? It's probably going to eliminate a step for you. If you subtract two y, you're going to end with. four x minus three equals negative two y. Now typically we don't like to do that because we don't want to have a negative coefficient from a y, but we just have to divide by negative and if you're good with signs, you can do that pretty easily. How do we get that y by itself again? Just make sure if you divide, you gotta do it everywhere. And you have to have the same exact thing and you have to be good with your signs. So four x over negative two, what are you gonna get out of that? Negative two. How much? Two. Two. And then plus or minus? How much? Yes. Equals? Sure. Maybe you write that a little bit different to skip that in, in the form that you want it. Y equals negative 2x plus 3 halves. Could you still graph that? Yeah. As a matter of fact, sometimes it's nice to keep it in standard. I asked you to do it in slope intercept form, but I also want to show you this. If you have this in standard form, which would be that. Have you ever learned the cover-up method for graphing from standard form? You ever seen that before? If you want to find the x-intercept, cover up your y, divide by 4, you know it's going to cross the x-axis at 4 thirds. It's, it's easier than graphing a, a, a fraction than going up and over, down and over. If you want to find the y-intercept, you cover up the x, divide by this number, positive 2, that's going to cross the y-axis at positive 3 halves. You can graph a line like that as well. So just a, a little refresher on those. <coughs> Those show hands. How many people feel okay so far on, on our lines? You still all right? You, you awake still? This should be review. This is review for you. I know some of you are thinking, where's the calculus? Just wait for it. All right? The calculus is going to come, whether you want to or not. Uh, just hang on for a second. Enjoy the, the nice slow stuff, but really absorb this if you're, if you're a little rusty on it. What do you know about parallel lines? That's the actual definition. Did you hear him over there? We have the same exact slope, that means we have parallel lines. It's kind of like climbing stairs, right? The way stairs work is they're parallel. That means you're going up and over the same rate. Otherwise, on these stairs over here, if, you're, if your stairs didn't go up and over, you're going to be like this. You're going to be like, oh, these are nice, these are, these are nice, son of a gun, you know? If they were different slopes, you, they intersect somewhere. We don't want that to happen for stairs. We don't want that to happen for parallel lines. So when we talk about parallel lines, what we're talking about are lines that have the same exact slope.
do perpendicular lines have the same slope? No, no, no they don't. Actually, perpendicular lines meet at a very specific angle. What angle do perpendicular lines meet at? Right. So if one line's like this, the other line's got to be like that, right? It means if one slope's positive, the other slope's negative. So we know that's going to come into play. Also, there's a, it's not just a negative slope. That's going to be something like this, right? That's not going to cross at 90 degrees. We want to make it actually just a little kicked over. How do I make it so it meets exactly at 90 degrees? It's not only negative, but also a... Negative reciprocal. Very good. A couple of you said reciprocal. So perpendicular lines are lines which have are lines where the slopes are negative reciprocals of each other. begs the question, if I give you an equation, can you find a line that's parallel and or perpendicular, I'm sorry, or perpendicular to a given equation? Can you guys do that? Let's try that out real quick. That'll be our, our last little timid review problem. Hopefully these have been timid for you. We haven't even made it 30 minutes in. We haven't, we're going to get to some training in just a bit. Yeah. So let me say that I want to find the equation of a line that passes through this point. And parallel to. passing through a set point and parallel to a given equation. What's the two things you need for sure in order to make the equation of a line? Slope, slope and a what now? Point, point. Point. Do I have a point? Yeah. Cool. Do I have a slope? Yeah. Do I have a slope right now? No. Not yet. i got to work on it, but could you find that slope? Yeah. Let's find the slope. Go ahead and do that on your own real quick. In about five seconds. You guys should be pretty good at this. Is the slope negative 2? No, what am I missing? That's the reason we talk about slope intercept, right? It's to find that slope very easily. Your slope's negative 2 thirds. Now, what I'm asking for is the equation of the line that's parallel to that line, but now goes through that point. So what slope am I going to use if I want to find the, the parallel line to this? Three halves. I'm going to use three halves? If I want the parallel to this. Oh, yeah. so, oh, parallel lines have the same slope. So what we're going to write down, we're going to find our slope. We want the parallel slope. So we're going to write down the parallel.